So back in 2012, I went to visit a friend who lived in Seattle, Washington, and I stayed with him for four nights, and during my visit with him, he had told me that he had been dating a woman recently who actually, who actually he went to visit that lives in California, and he met her parents, and, and so on and so forth. And they asked him the woman's name, and he said, Maria Kane. And I asked him how he met the woman, and he had met her through a mutual fin friend we had that also lived in Seattle who was a fitness competitor. So, fast forward five years later, and she had a photo that many of you guys may have seen that she posted on her Facebook page, and that actually is the thumbnail of this video. And for those of you that have seen it, you can see it right now. The photo is quite simply, she's wearing a sports bra, spandex outfit, workout attire, and her three little kids, her three little baby boys, are kind of sitting on the floor next to her. And she looks very good. She's, an, she's a very attractive woman, has a very fit body. And she, the photo said, what's your excuse? And... I thought it was certainly a very tame, friendly photo, but it really cut deep. It was a very biting and polarizing video to other moms that have kids and that are struggling with high body fat levels or even struggling with obesity. And you might think, well, why, why in the world would that ever cause the uprising that it did? I mean, this, this, this was on like, I think, E! Entertainment. It was on a few local news crews covered it. Um, it had like, I mean, thousands and thousands of shares on, on, the, uh, on our Facebook page. But the backlash was equally as, as profound as the support. But a lot of people don't understand, well, why would, why would that ever anger a woman. All she said was, what's your excuse? And for those of you that don't understand why, you're not going to understand why unless you understand the foundational principle that not all, but a large majority of women that have kids embrace. Until you understand this foundational belief system, you're not going to be able to connect the dots. You just won't understand it. And I'm going to explain that to you right this second. Until you understand that many women with a high body fat level that have kids embrace the victim narrative. They're victims. And they, they, when you embrace the victim narrative relative to a high body fat fitness levels and having three kids, you become very hypersensitive to criticism from other people like you, other moms, that are very fit and that are very attractive facially too. And so that's exactly what Maria Kane did. That's exactly what, that's exactly what lit the fuse, so to speak. And I know this because I work with majority women for the last 15 years and I understand the thought process and the better you understand it the better you can deal with it and, and break down the barriers and speak with brevity and get your point across without without being polarizing and without doing all that. Now I'm I've certainly been more polarizing in the past and there's a time and a place for it and I, I, I'm, I love the photo. I'm glad Maria King posted it. And, but that's the reason why it got the response that it did. Now, that's not why I respect Maria King. So I went to her website and I went to her Facebook page and I read her several articles she wrote. I read her some of her Facebook posts and she used to be uh, she used to do beauty pageants, 
and she, she did a couple of fitness shows. And I'm sorry, bikini shows. They weren't fitness shows, they were bikini shows. Um, and she has a nice figure. She was never super hardcore ripped like a lot of the figure and some bikini figure, some bikini competitors now. But she still had a very fit, feminine uh, figure. Very pretty woman. And that's kind of her background. And she has several videos on her website that are exercise demos and different exercise routines you can do at home. And the take home point, the take home point from her, no, her what's your excuse photo, and she's had a couple other polarizing posts or, or, or pictures since then. But her whole take home point, and I know this because I read her website, her entire agenda is to take to task and call to task these women that are embracing obesity and embracing the victim narrative that have kids that are moms. Because if you're 34 years old at 30% body fat with two kids, what are you going to be when you're 40 years old or 50 or 55 or 60? Your body fat isn't going to magically decrease. In fact, as you get older, as many of you viewers know, it's actually more difficult to decrease your body fat with age and as you get older, male or female. With that being said, that's her whole agenda. It's the long-term health risks but because many of these women embrace that victim narrative and are so ultra hypersensitive to correction and being taken to task by an attractive fit mom with kids that manages her time well, works crazy hours, and still fits in exercise and still eats somewhat healthy, that it sets off and it lights the fuse. And that's why the backlash came. Now, my advice for those women is to push aside that emotional victim narrative. Push it aside, and when you push that aside, you can clearly see she, she's concerned, Maria Kang is concerned about the chronic long-term health risks associated with being overweight, being obese. And this is, this is an excellent point to prove my point. Uh, one of the little news clips she had on her website uh, where they were covering the reactions to the, the photo. They interviewed some mom. This is a three-second soundbite, four-second soundbite. And, and the mom says, I, I, I could never look like her. You know, just that, that quick. And that proves my point. Maria King doesn't say, look like me. She doesn't say, you have to look. Maria King, it's all about your long-term health. It's about long-term chronic health, avoiding the health risks with obesity. Now, my response to that woman would be, it's not about looking like Maria Kane. It's about your long-term health. And second of all, you don't have to look like Maria Kane. This woman doesn't have to look like her. She could still look better. And that goes hand in hand. If you eat healthier and exercise, and you're obese, and you drop body fat and body weight, you're going to look better. The aesthetics will take care of themselves to some extent. But even with that being said, that's not why I respect Maria Kane. When I was reading her, her, uh, her website, she did mention that she struggled with eating disorders. I don't know which ones. Uh, I don't know, uh, but she, she mentioned that. And I believe, I am confident that nobody that ever struggled with eating disorders should ever design, coach, develop nutritional programs for other people. Now you might say, well, well that was a long time ago and I'm recovered now. Oh, no, no. Someone that's an alcoholic is always an alcoholic, even if they're 20 years sober. Okay? You're always an alcoholic for life. If you have an eating disorder, whatever it may be, you can be somewhat recovered. You can, ha you can have it managed. It can be managed through the right counseling, the right support system, so on and so forth. But you're always going to have and you're always going to be influenced by food. 
And I, in my ebook, I cover this to, in great detail in my ebook, in great detail. And I'm not going to go into that now. But you should, anybody that's ever had an eating disorder should never be responsible for designing nutritional programs for other women or men or anybody for that matter. So with that being said, this is the reason why, I'm a, why I respect Maria Kang so much. On her Facebook page, I was reading the about section and she said, I do not sell exercise and nutritional programs. Now she has free advice, she has encouragement, uh, she has some very easy little exercise workout demos uh, on her website, but the reason I respect Maria Kane is that she does not sell nutritional programs to other people. And you say, well, that's so hateful of you to say. How dare you say that? You have no right to say that. No, I, I absolutely have a right to say it. And I'm most certainly in a position to say it with my level of experience. I can promise you that. And what that person, let me tell you what that person should do. In this case, Maria Kane. And she's doing it. And this is also why I respect her in addition to the fact that she won't sell nutritional programs, is that you might say, well, what should somebody do? Somebody that has no longer struggling with active eating disorders, they should be taking others to task. They should be a good steward of their body. They should practice what they preach, and they should be an ongoing source of accountability and mentorship to others. And that's exactly what Maria Kang is doing. And Maria Kang, that is why I respect you.